been blessed in life. In this natural life. I had somebody give me this coat as a gift. This ring as a gift. This life that you and I live is a gift. I'm getting there. Listen to me. But there is no greater gift. Today you receive flowers and prizes and plaques and cakes. And you felt good on the inside. But I want you to know that I don't believe there's anybody in here that's ever felt any better is when they received the gift of God called Jesus Christ. Somebody, oh, I feel God when you receive the gift of eternal life. When God came in and the devil went out. When God took residence in your life and Satan had to go. When all of a sudden you were a sinner on your way to hell. And then all of a sudden within just a minute, praise God, you were looking for a devil to bind. You were looking for a devil to cast out. You were looking for somebody to tell them about the one that just got you, praise God, off of the place where you were headed. Hallelujah. His name is Jesus Christ. He's the greatest gift that... The greatest gift ever given. Well, somebody shout, I've got a gift greater than anything named Jesus. Come on, Brother Harold Hawk. Hallelujah. He's the light of the world. He's the city was set on a hill if you really want to get right down to it and the prophet he was the city because he said Abraham said I'm looking for a city whose builder hallelujah and maker is God I've been given a gift today you don't have anything to be concerned about the only thing you have to worry about is just keeping the devil just, just keep the devil at bay from you that's all you got to do you just fight the good fight of faith and God will help you right along you believe it somebody say amen and then, this morning, just give me just a minute, I want to find it. Your name. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I'm awful happy because God knows our name. Come on, look at somebody and say, did you know that God knows your name? Tell them, look at your name and say, God knows exactly who you are. This is the word of the Lord to you this morning. Everyone in here, listen to what he said. Isaiah chapter 43. This is the word that he gave me this morning at about 10.15. But now thus saith the Lord that created thee, O Jacob, and he that formed thee, O Israel, fear not, for I have redeemed thee, for I have called thee by thy name. Come on, somebody. I want, let, let's listen to what he's saying. This is the word of the Lord. For he said, fear not, for I have redeemed thee. There's nothing to fear. You know, you ought to have joy. You ought to be smiling. You ought to be just twirling around this morning because God says, fear not because you belong to me. I have redeemed thee. I've called thee by thy name. Thou art mine. Brother Jim, when thou passest through the waters, I will be with thee. Sister Frieda, and through the rivers, they shall not overflow thee. Brother Danny, thou walkest through the fire, thou shalt not be burned. Brother Gillis, neither shall the flame kindle, come on, upon thee. For I am the Lord, thy God, the Holy One of Israel, thy Savior. Since thou wast precious in my sight, thou hast been honorable, and I have loved thee. He went on to say, Fear not, for I am with thee. I have created you for my glory. I have formed you. I have made you. Glory be to God. I thought about when Jeremiah, before he ever was born, Jeremiah was known, listen, as the weeping prophet. There was going to be somebody that was going to be born that was greater than Jeremiah, though. But he went on to say, Sister Sandra, he said before, not after, but before I formed thee in the womb, I knew thee. And the greatest gift that was ever given was in Isaiah. He said, for unto us a child is born, 
For unto us a son is given. The government shall be upon his shoulders. He shall be called Wonderful Counselor, the Mighty God, the Prince of Peace, the Everlasting Father, the King of all kings, and the Lord of all lords. Let me read on. Just let me read just a little bit more. He said, Ye are my witnesses, saith the Lord, and my servants whom I have chosen. Ye may know and believe me and understand that I am He. Before me there was no God. Listen to what He's saying. For neither shall there be after me. Aren't you glad we serve the living God? Come on, let's give Him a hand. We serve the true God. We are pregnant this morning with the promise. Will you stand with me today? These are the last things that I want to tell you before I let you go. I've had some people after the church, I appreciate your kind words. I wish you'd preach longer, preacher. All I'm preaching is what he gives me. That's all I'm going to do. Three things that he told me to tell you as I close. Every single one of you have been born into the kingdom of God. You have been born again. If you're born again, I want you just to raise your hands and say, Lord, thank you that I am a child of the living God. And I'm pregnant. Come on, say it to him out loud. He's here right now. Lord, we are pregnant with your promises, God. He said, I want you to tell my people in closing three things to encourage them on this Mother's Day. Number one, he said, I will always, this is the word of the Lord, he said, tell my church that I will always be faithful to you. Always. Number one, I thought it was ironic, three, because there's the Father, there's the Son, and there's the Holy Spirit. Secondly, he said, I will always be there for you. Glory to God. Isn't that a good thing? I mean, you know what? We don't have to run over here and look over here. If people will do that. You know, they'll go run here and get... Jesus said not to do that. We're in error when we do that. You remember he said, when they say I'm in the desert, they say I'm over here. He said, the kingdom of God is where? Within you. Come on, that's the Word. We've got to stay with the Word. It's, he's on the inside. All you've got to do is say, Lord! And He'll say, I'm right here. What can I do to help you? Come on, I feel God and so do you. He's, the kingdom of God is within us. He said, I'll always tell them, be there for you. And you can't beat this last one. And He said, you know, He said, remind them. He said, tell them that I will always love you. Always. Somebody one time, Gillis here a long time, it's been a long time ago, they were thinking that God didn't love them. They've been saved too. And I just used the example when I was a sinner, and I was a great sinner. God never gave up on you or on me. I told somebody the other day that if I was going to die and go to hell, I would have died and gone to hell then. I told them, I said, if you were going to perish, if you really don't think that God loves you, He'd have just let you go right on and die. But He, he got you. He got every one of us, aren't you glad? He got you by the nap of your neck, and you belong to Him today. You can go ahead and give Him a hand clap. Go ahead, He's worthy. But God told me to remind you, and somebody, maybe you need to be reminded about this. He's nobody perfect. Especially not me. Nobody. There's only one perfect person. And that's why you needed a Savior, Joey. That's why we all needed him, Joey. We all had to have a Savior. I remember one day, Brother Bill, I was feeling on top of the world, and I was going down 95. You know, and you know, God is pleased when we do our best to live for Him. He is. It, it pleases Him. But He let me know in a great big New York hurry how it really was that day. And I want to share this with somebody. He said, son, he said, I appreciate what you do. And he said, I, I appreciate that you try to live maybe at a little bit higher standard. He said, but let me remind you of one thing, son. He said, it's still my blood. <laughs> hey, somebody, he put me right where I needed to be. It's still the blood of the Lamb. Come on, if you believe it, thank God. Say, thank God for the blood that he shed on Calvary for our sins, that you and I have been given an ultimate, eternal sacrifice. Praise God. Hallelujah, brother. Hallelujah. 
Somebody give him a great big hand clap. I want to praise God this morning. Have you enjoyed this message on Mother's Day? Because I sure have enjoyed ministering this message. Let's give him one more hand. Jamie. What's... Let's, let's worship God one more time. Let's end on this one. I felt led as I was preaching. And really, I wasn't even going to sing it today, but I heard the Lord say, I want you to sing that song. Reckless love. Amen. He, his love is without abandonment. He's after us, buddy. He's chasing us down, Brother Jim. Come on, one more time. One more hand clap. I love you. Let's worship him. God bless you today. Happy Mother's Day. and Have a wonderful day. Thanks for joining with us for the broadcast from New Beginning Worship Center in Greenback, Tennessee. We are located at 6501 Highway 411 South in Greenback, Tennessee, zip code 37742. Emails may be addressed to nbwcmailbox at gmail.com. Pastor Marcus Severance and the congregation invite you to join with us Sundays at 10 a.m. for teaching, followed by worship services at 11 a.m. and 6 p.m. We also meet midweek at 7 p.m. on Wednesdays. We're located on Highway 411 in Greenback, Tennessee, just three buildings down from the intersection of Highway 95. If you can't meet with us in person, Please join us again next time for our broadcast.